Gotta go fast. This week's character breakdown is Sonic, Sega's fast boy who made his first appearance in Rad Mobile, a racing arcade game that released in 1991. Bet you didn't see that coming. And some fun facts about our favorite hedgehog, Sonic was created to replace Sega's current mascot, Alex Kidd, to compete with Mario. Before his name was Sonic, his codename was Mr. Needle Mouse. And the original design for Sonic was inspired by a combination of Felix the Cat's body and Mickey Mouse's head. What's up, YouTube? I'm Choctopus, and this week we're covering Sonic, who has been one of my favorite characters since I was four years old. Can you tell? Anyway, Sonic is a fast character who isn't particularly strong, but he can use his speed to punish and burst his opponents down, which means you're going to have to work a lot harder for those KOs. Now remember, this is a weekly series, so if there's a character you want to see next week, drop it down in the comment section below, and let's get started. Sonic's neutral attack is this three-hit combo. It's nothing special and it's a bit slow, but it's a pretty good option out of shield or out of a dash. And that honestly, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not even Sonic's best spacing tool for aggressive opponents, but it's not completely awful. On a separate note, the first two attacks of Sonic's jab are good for jab locking an opponent. Sonic's dash attack is this sliding kick. It has a lingering hitbox, which makes it good for tech chasing. Now, Mario's not gonna tech, but if your opponent does tech roll, then you can follow up with a dash attack. Now with Sonic, it's really easy to get caught up in using dash attacks, but try not to spam them too much because it does have some considerable ending lag. So if you do whiff it, your opponent can punish you. Next up, we have Sonic smash attacks, beginning with his forward smash, which is this wind up punch. You can actually angle it up or down by hitting up or down once you begin the animation. It's a really good punish tool and at higher percents, it's a good KO option, but it has noticeable startup and ending lag, so I would use it very sparingly at low percentages. Sonic's down smash is this split kick. It's a good option for ledge guarding, and being that it hits on both sides, it's good for punishing rolls. Now, the attack itself has a slightly longer hitbox in the front than it does in the back. Sonic's up smash is strong, but it has a ton of ending lag, so use it situationally. So if your opponent does a hard landing, you can use an up smash to do some damage or pick up a kill, but other than that, I wouldn't use it too often. Overall, when it comes to Sonic's smash attacks, just be choosy. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a ton of KO options, so you're going to need to use them, but forward smash can also be used for ledge pressure, being that you can angle it, so you can angle it down as they're trying to grab the ledge. Next, we're going to talk about Sonic's special moves, and this is where his burst comes largely into play. Starting with his neutral B, which is his homing attack, it has a couple different uses. It's great to punish an opponent with some quick damage if you see your opponent using an attack that has significant lag. You can use his homing attack to get in there. It's also good as a zone breaker if your opponent is being super aggressive. You can use it to get them off of you. However, it's important to know the way that his homing attack works. If there's nobody to lock onto, Sonic will go straight down, which is a problem because if you use it offstage, it can result in some self-destructs. The attack also does more damage the longer that you charge. So if you do want to use it really quick, you just hit B twice. Or if you want to do more damage, you can hold it and then you can press B. However, once you press B, whether Sonic hits or not, you're committed to the attack. So if you do use it and you don't hit anyone, there's a lot of ending lag so your opponent can punish you. It's also great for extending or finishing combos, but like I said, be careful when using it off stage. Next, we're gonna talk about Sonic's side B, which is his spin dash, and we're gonna talk about his down B, which is his spin charge. But I kinda wanted to talk about them together because they are similar, but they do have their different uses. For example, spin dash is a single hit, whereas a spin charge is a multi-hit. Now, the spin dash, which is a single hit, you can hit side B, and Sonic will do a little hop into his spin dash, or if you hold side B, he'll charge it, and you can actually jump during the charge, and then you can let go. Spin dash is a lot quicker to use because you could just hit side B, but spin charge, you actually have to take time to charge it. However, spin charge is really good for pressuring on shields because it hits multiple times, whereas you can use spin dash to do quicker combos. Spin charge, you're going to want to ride out a little longer because it is a multi-hit, but some good combos for the two of them, you can do it into a neutral air, you can do them into a forward air, you can do a spin dash turn into a back air, hang on, we didn't hit that, into a back air for some mix-ups. It also works with an up air at mid percentages, but 
Spin Dash and Spin Charge are going to be your primary tools when bursting opponents down. Up B is Sonic Spring Jump, and it has a lot of great uses. You can also attack out of it similar to Mega Man's Rush Coil. Now, the spring will stay on stage for a little while, so you can actually bounce on it multiple times. And there's a technique called Spring Canceling, which will reduce Sonic's landing lag significantly. Because if you use it on stage, when he lands, there's a lot of ending lag. But you can actually reduce that by holding down, and he'll go into a crouching position. However, when you use Sonic's up B, you can only access his air attacks. You can't use any of his special moves. But when using his spring-assisted jump on stage, you can use it to chase up throws at higher percents and do an up air. Or you can even use it for a neutral air as well. As far as the recovery goes, you have some pretty crazy vertical jump. So you can chase your opponents pretty deep off stage. Now in Ultimate, it was changed to Sonic being able to do an air dodge out of his up B, so you can actually use that in combination with his up B, if you know you're not going to make it, use his air dodge to get a little closer. Some other good uses for Sonic Spring Jump, if your opponent is being really aggressive, you can use up B as an escape tool to get out of their range, or if they're trying to recover, you can drop a spring right on them to gimp their recovery. Onto Sonic's tilts. They're pretty basic, but they're also decently quick and have good use. His forward tilt has really long range, which is good for poking and spacing your opponent. It's also a good out of shield option. Down tilt works good at ledge, but also at higher percents. It'll put your opponent right in front of Sonic so you can follow up with air attacks. Up tilt is lacking a little bit of horizontal range, but it reaches really high, which is good on stages like Battlefield. Also, forward and up tilts combo really well out of soft nair, so you can do stuff like a nair into a forward tilt or a nair into an up tilt. Next, we're going to cover Sonic's aerial game, starting with his nair, which is a great attack because it's a good punish tool, it has a lingering hitbox, and it's one of his best combo starters. It has very low base knockback, so at low percents it combos really well into tilts, and over 20% it combos well into other aerial attacks, so it'll bring Sonic uh, bring Mario to 50%, and you can do it into forward airs, you can even do it into back airs. It also works well into itself. Sonic's forward air is this multi-hit corkscrew attack, which is one of his better kill options off stage. Now, it comes out really quickly, so if you chase an opponent off stage and they are recovering low, so let's see if we get Mario low, you can actually just run right off the stage into it, and you can recover with ease. Next up, we have Sonic's Down Air, which is this dive kick, which has a ton of ending lag. However, if you use it with the spring jump on the stage, just like you cancel the landing, you can actually cancel the landing of the down air as well. This way, you can use it more on stage. Off the stage, the beginning frames will spike, but be careful when using this attack because you can easily self-destruct. But just a tip, if you do want to try to use it off stage and you do want to try and pick up spikes as your opponent's recovering, make sure you come in low, save a jump, and then up B afterwards. Next up, we have Sonic's Up Air, which is a great juggling tool, and it's also good for picking up overhead kills at higher percents. You can also short hop fast fall into an Up Air, but it's a little tough to hit, especially against smaller characters. And last, we have Sonic's Back Air, which is this back hook kick, which is his best killing tool. Even if you hit late, this thing will kill pretty early, or at least for Sonic, <laughs> off stage. I would recommend getting good with Run Pivot Back Air, because if you get someone off stage, you're going to want to be able to use it whenever you can. Overall, Sonic has a pretty good air arsenal, and at mid percents, they all work really well out of spin dash and spin charge, so you're going to want to use them to burst your opponents down. Next, we're going to cover Sonic's grabs and his throws. Now, being that Sonic is so fast, it's really easy to run up to your opponent, grab them, and then do a throw. Now, if you whiff your grab, with Sonic, he's going to do this little tripping motion, and there's a lot of lag before he can actually shield or do anything out of it. However, you can significantly reduce that lag if you stop running, and you cancel, and then you grab. So, in order to do that, you're going to hit the control stick to run, you're going to let go, and then you're going to do a grab, because it significantly cuts the time down. Now, as for Sonic's throws, you have his up throw, which is going to be your primary combo starter. You have his down throw which is the spin dash, and it actually knocks back, so you can tech chase after it if your opponent does tech out of it. You can do a forward throw, which is decent, and then you have his back throw, which is the strongest and probably a pretty good kill option at higher percents. Now, the primary reason you're going to be using his up air is because it combos really well at low percents into a neutral air or an up air where you could start to juggle. Now, at high percents, when your opponent is going to be up much higher, so let's bring Mario up to, like, I don't know, let's go to 90. 
Uh, you can actually chase them with the spring jump, and then you can go from there, because the spring jump is really quick, as opposed to doing a double jump, because you can do a double jump if you want. It's not as fast, I completely missed there. You do a double jump if you want, but it's a lot quicker to do an up throw, and then you can follow up with a spring up air. Same thing goes for a neutral air. You can do up throw, spring jump, neutral air. So that's it for Sonic... Oh, hi, Knuckles. You should have been in Smash. So that's it for Sonic's breakdown. Now, just to recap, look for those opportunities to burst your opponents down with spin dash and spin charge combos. Stage control is really important with Sonic because he is so weak, so if you are being pressured, make use of your nair, make use of your forward tilt, make use of your up B to escape that pressure. But being that Sonic is so weak, you're gonna have to work extra hard for those KOs, but be patient, use the tools, and if you enjoyed this video, Go hit that thumbs up button, please, pretty please, because it helps more than you think it does. And if you're new to the channel and you like Smash and Nintendo, I do weekly guides and loads of other content. So go check out some other videos. And if you like them, I would love it if you sub to the channel. I also stream, I'm on Twitter, you can find those links below. Now go forth, get those W's with the blue blur, and we'll see you in the next video. Later. <laughs>